Quilters. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. I'm here with Erica, our Corporate Marketing Specialist. We're here to rock the block and tell you about our new Go Feather Star Dye. Let's join in our band. So let's take a look at what makes this dye so special before we jump into showing you how to make this amazing Go Icy Hot Stars wall hanging. Okay, quilters, as Erica said, this is a bob or a block on board die. If you're not familiar with that term, it means that all the shapes that yep. you need to make this stunning 16 inch finished block are on one die board. Now, the first thing that you'll notice is that the die board has screen printed letters, right? So this is to help you keep track of your pieces yep. and be able to sew your pieces together. That's right. And it's such a great help for you with this die because there are 21 pieces on this die board. Now this die is on a 10 by 24 die board and that means it'll fit in either a go or a go big or a studio cutter with the appropriate adapter. Quilters, that also means you need a 10 by 24 cutting mat, yep. right? Because without a mat, Erica, what happens? Nothing, not Nothing. a darn thing. Now remember quilters, the blades are in the die and not in the cutter. So. I must tell you, even though there are a lot of pieces in this block, if you can sew a quarter inch seam, you can make this block, can't you, Pam? Oh, absolutely. Quilters, look at these pieces. In a few minutes, we're gonna show you how to cut out a block, but these pieces have specialized dog ears. So look at this right here. So from this point here to this point here is that perfect quarter inch seam that's gonna allow them to line up their pieces every single time. That's right. It's gonna make all the difference in the world for you quilters. Now there are detailed directions on the die packaging. And as my first tip of the day, I'm gonna tell you to follow those directions and make a test block. Don't you think so, Erica? Absolutely. And I know I made a couple test blocks and I know yes. you did too. And I really encourage everybody to make one. Now the next pro tip, is to go to the dye product page on our website and download the free direction sheet. Now this is such a great reference tool to have. It's gonna show you exactly how to lay your fabric out on the dye, how to put the block together, and there's even a page where you can color in the block too. Oh, that's a great idea. That allows you to keep track of your pieces mm -hmm. with that color page. This bob is the dye that inspired the creation of that coloring page, isn't it? It sure is. When I was working on the first test block, I kept getting my half square triangles facing the wrong direction ah. while I was chain piecing. So I changed and colored in my direction sheet and it went really well. Well, as they say, necessity is the mother of <laughs> invention. So quilters, be sure to print out this as well as the free directions for this great wall hanging called Go Icy Stars. Let's get started. You bet. Well, we have the die, so let's go ahead and get some fabric on it. Perfect. So All right. we're gonna go ahead and it's laid out really well. There's great directions. Mm -hmm. And this pattern has some back and forth. So some of the shapes will be cut a little differently. We're just gonna give you kind of a taste of it. It's laid out so we can put all of our reds right here. Perfect. And remember, we can always cut six layers of cotton. That's in right. all of the passes through our cutter. That's right. Okay. Oh, here, That's I'm gonna, gonna, gonna go here. here. Yep. With our little eyes. Yep, those we're gonna make a lot of half score triangles with. For day is my favorite shape. And then this is shape F. And then and shape A is actually the square in the center of the block. And so we only need one for the block. Perfect. So we've kind of gotten started. We're not cutting the full block, but you can see how you totally could just lay out your layers and do that. Absolutely. All right, perfect. All right, so today I'm using my Go Big fabric cutter. It would fit in our Go cutter or our studio cutter as well. All right, okay. Erica, let's give our mat a little bit of love. Oh, it is staticky in here. Slide that mat, don't lift. Okay, and so we can go ahead and pull up. And like you said, it's not a Band-Aid, right? Right, don't rip it up. Don't Just rip it out. Pull it nicely. Pull it nicely, there we go. And, and Erica, I found that I left my pieces on the die board until I was ready to label them and leave them out, right? You absolutely can do that. And the other thing that you can do, if you wanna pull them off, if you're trying to cut your whole block, maybe at the same time, mm -hmm. is go ahead and I took and put 
sticky notes on my stack. Oh, perfect. So perfect. whichever way is going to work the best for you. Perfect. Go now, ahead. I'm going to set this here because I think you already have some. I've got uh, some already started. That's right. So we already got started on our block, and this is our block right in front of us. Okay. And we're going to make this corner unit. So we've got one corner done. And basically, it's a nine patch. We're going to put this together like a basic oh. nine patch. Okay. It's just that it's a little bit more complicated. So think about this, though. It's a nine patch that makes a 16-inch block, mm -hmm. right? So that's kind of odd rows and even it's numbers. It's odd rows, even numbers. I love it. Right. So we're going to laying this up. I'm going to sew this, and then we're going to do those core, the uh, half square triangles next. Perfect. I'm going to reach around you and grab my iron. I'll let you. Okay. Put those together. I had no idea get that guitar would be so heavy. It is. It's amazing. It's a real guitar. That's Mason's, isn't it? It is. One of his six. Thank you for sharing, Mason Heller. Yes. And we got our hair done, which is the best part of the Isn't whole day. It, though? I told my grandson I was going to get purple hair today, and he said, no, get blue. No, purple's said, your no, color. Purple's my color. All right, how am I pressing these, Miss? Go Erica. ahead and press these open for okay. us. And again, follow your directions. You're, you're going to want to pay attention to that. I'll oh, my, yes. That. It makes a difference. It does. There so, you go. Go ahead. Now, again, we've laid this out. It's going to mirror this piece. So I want to make sure now I lay my half square triangle. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. And again, we've got our notches. That's going to fit right together. Mm -hmm. Now, I think some cultures would look at this and they would say, oh, this is really difficult. But actually, this is a really great block. If you can sew a quarter inch seam, oh, yeah. you can sew it together. You absolutely and can. And there are only two Y seams in the whole right block. sometimes so you will see this done with others but if you follow the directions you're going to be able to do it with just one y seam and i think that's kind of amazing why don't we press that one to the side let's do okay perfect now this piece is going to go on top of our red oh piece. excellent okay and you've noticed we've cut off the dog ears right here and the notches are going to line up so that you can just sew that together perfectly sew that together just perfectly then we're going to sew together another piece. So it's just a matter of paying attention because you will want to make sure you've got your colors all kind of laid together. Yes. Right? Yes. And again, like we've said, you want to make a test block. Make a test block. Yep. Okay. And that one would go right over there. And Perfect. And press that down. Yep. I'll just press it down there. Now, there you go. we've got our two corners, so we want to finish the center piece. Okay. So this is going to be put together. You're going to sew together this section, which is just like the section we just did. You're going to start to see the repetition in these sections. We're going to sew up to here. Then you have this section that sews on. Oh. And that's how you avoid that Y seam. There you go. Okay? And you so want to read the instructions. Yeah. It'll be just even. This is going to make it so. Then this is going to go on one side of it. And we want to make the piece to go on the other side. Excellent. So again, we've got, let's see. Yes, it's all yes, laid out perfectly. That's where, that's where we go. I had to check myself. And again, those notches are going to line up for you. Now, quilters, if you're nervous about sewing those Y seams, don't be nervous, okay? Uh, we made a video on all about how to sew Y seams. It gives you all the tips and tricks so that you can feel comfortable. That's right. And so this piece, and again, I'll have you press for me. I love this teamwork. I know. All right, so Erica, I love these. Here, I'll press for okay. you here. I love these um, red and black colors, mm -hmm. but I totally love the picture on the front of the packaging. Oh, those I do too. Blues. It looks like icy winter. Icy winter, yes. And I think even just one block in those blues would be a really cool wall hanging yes. for winter. So pretty. All right, I pressed for you. All right, thank you for pressing. Now, again, we're going to lay out. Okay, this is going to go there. This is going to go here. So I'm going to lay these together. Sew this. 
And sometimes I think quilters think, oh, wait, there's not, it's too long. It's not going to fit there. But the reality is we have those quarter inch seams still that we have right. to sew. And it's really just a matter of really following the directions and trusting them. Um, I know that I was doing that in the test block and I kept following them and thinking, is this going to work out right? And it really is. It does. It works perfectly. Okay. And I'm just going to press it to that one side. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now this then goes on to the half square triangle. Oh, and look how, See how that's it lines right up. A line up there. So we can take this straight to the sewing machine. And again, this is just lining up perfectly. So don't be afraid of it. And really, you can get, like we said, a stunning wall hanging. The one behind us only has four blocks. Yes. Total weekend project. And like anything else, once you do your first one, I guarantee the next one's going to go faster for you. Right? Yes, always. So while she's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and sew this onto one side of our unit here. Okay. I do love batiks. I do too. These are really great batiks. And I love the fact that you've taken little sticky notes and marked your pieces. So, no, you know, it's really about keeping track of the pieces. I just found that that was really vital when I was sewing it. And whatever method is going to work the best for you, I did several. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me get the threads out. That makes me crazy. There we go. Press it away. And then Great. you can add that other side. And then we're going to add the other side, just like we are making kind of a giant flying geese, right? It's awesome. So we will put this on here. And again, we're going to line this up. There we go. And the great part about this block is that that center is just that plain square. So really, you're just creating the blocks to go around it. Yep. Okay. So when we press this out, then it lays right there. Okay, so this one is done. This one is done. So this whole bottom strip could be sewn together. Perfect. And at the same time, we would have done that top strip kind of like a mirror image. Okay. So then what you get down to is that middle strip. Oh, sure. Okay. And if we get this kind of out of the way, we can show you a little bit better. Okay. Let's put that on top there. Okay. okay. So with that middle strip, I lost it. There it is. Right there. There it is. So when our middle strip, you have to wait until the last thing that you do before you do your Y seam. Because you have to line up your pieces oh. like this. And when you line them up correctly, you've got that straight line. Right. Then you can take your triangle piece and it's going to fit right inside there. Oh, that makes so much okay? sense. Right. It does. So you have to look at it again. Trust the directions. Right. They're going to take you home, but you just have to trust the directions. Again, this is going to give you a 16 inch finished block and there's a lot of seams in here. So be sure when you're done with your top to give it a really good press, then layer it with your batting and backing, pin or baste it and quilt as desired. Add the binding. Don't forget to miter those corners and ta-da, you're done. Again, the pattern for the Go Icy Stars wall hanging is a free download from AccuQuilt.com. That's right. Because at AccuQuilt, we specialize in helping you cut time so you can quilt more.